funk rhythm guitar. Okay, so what I'm going to do now just to work out is to play these. It's kind of a blues progression, but not strictly speaking a 12 bar blues. It's got the three chords of a blues, but they're sort of laid out in a way that gives you a little bit more time to, to combine the chord shapes that we've been working on. So, well, along with the help of my, my computer and garage band, I'm going to be able to make some music with you here. So, let's listen to what we've got here. Oh yeah, that is some funky, bad groove there. Listen to that. Here's the F chord. No rhythm guitar yet, so that's where you guys are going to come in. Back to the C chord. Okay. Can you guys hear that all right? There's the G chord. There's the F chord. Okay. So let's just experiment with some of the shapes that we've learned. Let's take this high one, right, and play it at the top. Here we go. Maybe like this. The F ninth chord. Let's add a slide here. Here comes the G ninth. the other one. Right? Back to the other one. Check this out. I'm gonna add some other cool stuff. How about this? Oh, it's gonna come up next. It's my organ section. Okay, check this out. We got we got some horns coming in here. Let's hear our horn section. Here we go. those chords with me because what we combine together is a kind of a fuller dynamic with with a guy playing the full rhythm guitar chords we've got the organs in the background and the horn section then we've got another guy playing the single note part (laughs) 
Right? And that's called a bubble part. And we're going to talk about that in some other lessons. But what we're doing right now is learning how to play different types of styles of rhythm guitar. In this last few lessons, we've been playing blues and, and now a little bit of funk today and adding some other uh, chord voicings to help us do that. But the main thing with these shapes that we've, we're working on on this lesson is using our uh, right hand and making it real relaxed and making it feel good. And using our thumb to mute. Right? And also using uh, sliding chords to create melody. That's always going to help create a little bit more melodic interest in, in these chords. Okay? Let's play this one more time and you guys are practicing along with me. Here we go with the full band. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that's it for now. I hope you guys had a great lesson and we'll talk to you in our next lesson. We're going to get into some cool Motown stuff. So tune in and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.